All right, YouTube. I'm here on my spring break. Need my PJs. Outside, relaxing. What's up, everybody? And uh, just gonna work on, on my knife. You know, this is my workstation outside of my apartment. It's awesome. My barbecuer. I fasten everything here like you see here. I don't have a vice or nothing. And I was able to get a work sharp tool sharpener. And you know, it does a lot more than just that. So I'm using it to make a knife. Actually, I'm going to make use it to make two knives out of a, <clears throat> an old sawmill blade. I cut two knives out of it. The other one's got uh, the saws on the back of it. It's kind of cool looking. But when I'm done with it, it's going to look good. I'm just starting to take some of that, you know, all that rust and crap off. But the tool sharp's working excellent for that. It truly is an awesome tool. I love it. There it is right there. Boom. And there's my spring break beverage. Yep, I'm enjoying it. I covered it up with a rubber glove. So all you guys can see is that. But anyways, it's pretty good beer. It's the only kind I like to drink anyways. And uh, there's my safety glasses. Got my breather. Gotta have all the safety gear, you know what I'm saying? can't work safe you know that's it's no good there we go sorry about the focus this is my wife's phone that's got this autofocus and whatnot right now I'm working on the handle round it around putting my grooves in right here it's feeling nice matter of fact really nice I'm gonna put one more down here probably about right in here from here up, I'm going to do that, and uh, sorry about that sound in the background, I do live in a town that has trains and whatnot, but the work sharp has smoothed all of this out from cutting with the grinder, you know, cutting my shape out I want. This point right here is your hitting point for um, batoning through wood. And um, I'm not sure yet, but I, I might put a beer opener on this bad boy right here. So I'm going to get it going. But this thing's comfortable, fits good in the hand. It's going to look good with an oak handle on it. Um, I'm curious to see how the steel is going to do. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what kind of steel it is. Actually, I just know it's a badass uh, mill saw blade. So, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, guys like you want it, and I was like, hell yeah, I'll take that. Because why not experiment with something else besides 5160 spring steel? Even though I love it and I'm a big fan of it, this was given to me and that's pretty much the only way I can get my metal but eventually I plan on doing some type of forging and hammering out my own my own designs it's gonna be cool so the thickness I'm not too sure on that to be honest if anybody's got any ideas Throw it down in the comments or down in the bottom. It's decent though. We'll see how it works as a survival blade. <clears throat> I'll have a convex edge on it. It'll be honed down, kind of nice. Super chromed out. Linear hole, maybe. I don't know, because I'm going to have my... Probably a beer opener right here. You know, I don't have that little hook right there maybe I just might drill a hole in for a lanyard and that's it so
So the further I get along, I will record and get back to you guys and let you know how it's coming. Yeah, my file, it's went to shit because of my spring steel knife right here that I made. It's still too beefy, so I got to taking some meat off of it. I mean, don't get me wrong, the edge is great from the work sharp. I mean, look at that shit. I've been chopping wood and whatnot, but that's cool. You know, you can see this is a side my file went out on me. You see, I'm getting it though. Once I get more meat off it, and it's just so hard to work on it because I didn't detamper it. I've been working on it all cold. And uh, so that way it, it has its, I don't have no way of tampering right now. So, you know, I've got to keep that tamper that's in there. So everything was very slow and tedious, but it's turning out pretty good. Got my thumb slots here. You know, good grip for your thumb. It's actually perfect. This thing just molds in your hand. It's insane. I can't wait until it's done. I made the handle out of string and Gorilla Glue. Layer, layer, Gorilla, layer, Gorilla, layer, Gorilla, layer, Gorilla Glue. And I'd rub that shit in with rubber gloves on. Don't do it without gloves. I did that the first time and it sucked. <laughs> My hands heck is split up. But every time the grill glue puffs up, grab it with your gloves and then squish it back down like this and then rub it in. And then, you know, a couple hours later, it's going to still be a little puffy. But you want to keep rubbing the glue in probably about five or six times. You got to do it, rub it back in because it puffs up. But then after that, sand it down as needed. And you have yourself a permanent handle that takes some damn good shock. I've thrown this knife and you know I've abused it. But look at that. It doesn't look like string, does it? It's a trip, man. See I still got wood on there. This thing just eats through the wood. It's insane. Bites it. But the handle's pretty sick. I really like it. I'm going to put this kind of handle on a lot of my knives that I make. Put my blood groove in there. Super nice. Needs more polishing and smoothing out so there's no catch when I baton through wood. Because this baby's a batoner. Look how thick that is. Come on. It's 5160 spring steel, man. Not bad by all eye and just hand tools. Look at that tip. Ain't breaking that shit. I've dropped it straight in the concrete and nothing. Just bounces off. But man, that file really ate it up. I had turned it on its side because uh, it still had a little meat on there, but it still couldn't barely scratch the knife, so. I'm waiting for a piece for my Dremel, and then I'll probably use that to bring this down. Actually, I'd rather use a file, because then I get my flat surface I want. But this is the Chubby. That's what I named it. And this is a knife that will last somebody uh, the rest of their life. Guaranteed. Guaranteed, man. This thing ain't going nowhere unless you sell it. It's beefy. It's about a pound. Pound of steel in your hand. <laughs> Here's the sheath for it. But when I first made it, the blade was a little wider and thicker, and I've slimmed it down, so I need to make a new sheath. This one don't fit it no more. But it's my own design for it. Badass. Patented by me. 
Bone dry on. Solid too. I might just see what I can do. Maybe put another rivet in up here. Something. Or stitch it. That's what I'll do. Is. No, my knife will cut that. Stitching ain't gonna work. I gotta make a new one. Too bad. Keep this one for a pattern though. Well, if somebody else likes it, this style of style is sheath, I'll sheath. I'll use it. Alright. I've spent enough time. I wanna get to work now. See you do